Uh, supposedly on hype beast there's news here that the pizza hut are going to put a uh, plant-based sausage pizza in a round box i don't know why it's a thing um let's read it uh pizza hut um marks the latest restaurant chain to experiment with plant-based meat alternatives with introduction of a garden speciality pizza that features morning star farms incog incognito italian sausage along with onions mushrooms and banana peppers uh this particular sustainable efforts even further pizza hut is also testing out new round boxes that will eliminate significant amount of packaging material per box wow imagine what that's the good thing about this um rise of you know health and um, environmental awareness and shit like imagine a corporation like pizza Hut deciding to make a plant-based burger a plant-based pizza that's quite nuts number one number two the fact that they're trying to eliminate waste by making a round pizza box is quite innovative i like the look of it it's quite interesting as a design right a uh, bit and pieces but imagine being a plant-based enthusiast or having a subscribing to a plant-based diet and deciding right cognitively like you know with a sound mind sober right not high not drunk and deciding today for dinner i'm gonna order a pizza from pizza hut like you have to be insane right this is like the vegans that are overweight and only eat chips and cheese you have to be nuts to subscribe to that kind of lifestyle and think that it's it's morally right for you to give your money to a, a, an organization like pizza hut no mention of who they're owned by or anything but if you do the research you'll know what i'm talking about you have to be fucking nuts in your head and if you get called out on it you can't be angry you should know you should be getting called out if you're uh, if you're if you're a vegan if you subscribe to a plant-based diet and you're buying a pizza hut from pizza you a, a pizza from pizza hut you have you are nuts there's something wrong with you really wrong with you you should be supporting your local um plant-based restaurant um or cafe spot or whatever it may be called you should that's where you should be going to put your money not to fucking pizza hut again kudos to them for trying and trying to get that you know that um plant-based dollar out there but i don't know man i don't know imagine if you follow someone a, a, a person on social media that is quite you know well known in the plant-based industry and they start reviewing this stuff you might have to look at them a bit different and they even change their fucking sign on piece of heart the little hot thing to green it's like oh cringe man whenever a company markets directly to a specific group of people interested it always ends up like this isn't it? it's always fucking done really heavy-handedly isn't it so cringe it really is so cringe it really is so cringe. It's like when, you know, brands started directly marketing to sneakerhead. That's when fucking sneakerhead culture basically died, didn't it, effectively, right? Because they, essentially, instead of going back to the essence of it, they just decided, oh, yeah, these guys like crazy colorways, um, mad X's in between the brands that we're collaborating with. So X, X, collaborate, collab collaboration, and they're like limited numbers. Cool, let's do it. This is what they did. just pressed it. They didn't even think about who the brands were, where they were launching it, activations. It's just all about, yeah, colors, numbers, names. Cool, let's do it. Let's sell it. And then that's, that's basically when sneaker culture died, really, isn't it? Now you just got this hype beast reselling culture that's infested everywhere where kids are not really even, you know, buying sneakers in that way anymore, which is a different way of buying it, which I'm not against. Don't do your thing, but this is insane. You have to be nuts to buy a plant-based pizza from Pizza Hut. Honestly, you really have to be nuts. I don't, I don't, I, I just don't know how you could justify that to yourself, really, um, to have that strong. Because usually when you when you subscribe to a plant-based diet, you have quite a strong view on how society should be shaped. You have quite strong political views, right? Um, you probably um, are very uh, particular about the brands you associate yourself with, the brands that you buy into or who you support, right? You're very, you're very particular with those kind of things. So to kind of sit there and say, yeah, I'm going to take that Pizza Hut money, you have to really have to take a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror, man. But I'm sure there's probably a lot of influences out there that have already taken that Pizza Hut dollar. I'm just probably talking out my ass, but I don't know because I'm not a plant-based enthusiast. <laughs>